like I was saying, well, artificial sweetener, artificial sweetener is sweeter than sugar. And most foods that, most processed foods that we eat that have, one, the one real quick one thing, people always make people fun of people that put sugar in spaghetti. You have to put sugar in spaghetti to take the acidity out, acidity out of it. You don't drown it with sugar. You put sugar in it to take the acid out of it. And I'm saying that to say that artificial sweetener is added to spaghetti sauce. If it wasn't, it would be real bitter. Now, back to what I was saying is most processed foods have artificial, artificial sweetener in it. They don't call it sugar. They call it dextrose or fructose or something like that. And it's artificial sweetener. And a lot of times, these artificial sweeteners are made in laboratories. So it's cheaper to it's cheaper than regular sugar. It's cheaper than cane sugar. Cane sugar, when you put cane sugar into food now, that's like a flex. That's like something to brag about. When you see when they put real sugar in food, they say made with real sugar. That's a that's a uh, that's a uh, a plus. That's something to brag about and to say your food is better than, than the artificial sweetener. But back to what I was saying is, all these foods got, art, like when you're drinking juices and sodas and all that shit, that's got artificial sweetener in it. Like the other day, a friend of mine was drinking Tropicana juice, but it said made from concentrate. And I was telling him, concentrate, when it said concentrate, that generally means they use the peels. They don't use the fruit. They use the peels to make their juice. They use the peels, and then they add sugar, water, and sweetener to it. But it's not the pulp of the fruit. It's not the pulp of the orange. It's made from the peels. But now, I'm saying artificial sweetener reminds me of sneakers. Because you got all these sneakers out here. They got all these Anything you can think of, they can make a sneaker out of it. They can make a style of it. And these sneakers are not made with real leather anymore. And they're made with cheap rubber and recycled plastic. And people are paying tons of money for some bullshit sneakers. Sneakers be bullshit. And guys be thinking they're doing something because they got sneakers. They're fucking sneakers. They're not shoes. Them shits are not made with leather. They're not made. They're not handmade. Them shits are... They're sneakers. And the manufacturer keep coming out with sneaker after sneaker after sneaker. And people be standing in line to buy fucking sneakers. That's like you standing in line to buy some artificial sweetener. It's bullshit. <laughs> sneakers. They be and like and back when back in the day, sneakers used to be called tennis shoes. Because you only wore you only wore them to play tennis in. Like I was saying, I remember when I was growing up, we had street clothes. We had play clothes and we had school clothes. And when you came in from school, you would change your clothes and put your clothes back on and go back out. And your play clothes. But now, people wear sneakers. I don't have on sneakers. I got on boot train. I got on uh, like hiking boots. But people wear sneakers every day. Like when guys got to go to a funeral or they're going to church or they're going to a job interview, they don't be having no shoes to wear. They got tons of sneakers and no shoes. And then they pay top dollar for these sneakers. They be paying three hundred dollars for a pair of sneakers, but then go pay cheap some. But then don't want to buy some good shoes. You buy a good pair of shoes, and it's just to last your lifetime. But uh, oh, and one more thing, God was talking about uh, sagging. Sagging jeans did not start in jail. Sagging jeans started because your mother used to buy mothers used to buy their children clothes for school. And she would buy them kind of big so you would grow in them through the course of the year. You would grow into the clothes because you were still growing. So your mother bought you big clothes. But then uh, rappers and shit made it a style. Somebody took it to the extreme. And like when crisscross and them started coming out with big clothes on and baggy jeans and shit. Plus, people started wearing, uh, wearing their pants sagging to piss off society. Society said, put your pants up. We say, no, I'm going to wear my pants hanging. Society said, wear a belt. We say, no, I ain't going to wear a belt. Society said, wear your hat to the front. You say, no, I'm going to wear my hat to the back. Society said, wear your shirt the regular way. Say, God said, no, I'm going to wear my shirt inside out. That's a rebellion to society. That sagging jeans did not start in jail. That started because people was rebelling and saying they wanted to do shit the way, their own way. Like I said, at first it started when your mother was buying clothes big. And then, for some reason, somebody just took it to the extreme and started wearing their clothes real big. 
It came out, it was real big. Rappers and everybody was wearing real big clothes at one time. That shit in sagging jeans. That didn't start in jail. And you used to wear your boxers, so your boxers would show. But now people wear boxer briefs, and now this shit look, now this shit look fucking weird. You know, you wearing your pants sagging with boxer briefs all, and you can see the crack of your ass, your butt print and shit. That shit look weird as fuck. But that shit didn't start in jail. They don't give you boxer briefs in jail. They give you regular white boxes. That shit did not start in jail. They need to stop that shit. This shit, this shit carried over to jail. And people started doing that shit in jail, but it didn't start in jail. That shit started on the streets. They don't give you fucking boxer. They give you regular boxes in jail. They don't give you boxer briefs. And when you take a sh and like I said, they give you boxer briefs. They give you regular white boxes. In jail, they give you white boxes, two pair of boxes, two pair of socks, two t-shirts, and shit like that. And when you take a shower, you're supposed to take a shower in your boxes. You don't take a shower naked in jail. You take the shit in your fucking box, you leave your boxes on. You just wash your ass and you wash your shit in, in your fucking underwear. You don't take the boxes off. And sagging jeans did not start in jail. Sagging jeans started in the street. Like I said, it was a, a it was a, uh, it was a, a, um, a rebellion against society. That's what that shit was. But then, and like sneakers, sneakers became a style. At one time when I was growing up, I remember, I remember when people was wearing pro kids. We was wearing canvas Converse, some white Converse with the stars, and then they started coming out with different flavor Converse, and that was the style. But then pro kids came out. And everybody, everybody in the projects was wearing pro kids. And then I remember when Nike came out. Nike was made in leather, made leather. But Nike wasn't real big because you had a lot of different sneakers out. You had, uh, I remember you had the Ewans, uh, Diodorus, Adidas. That's was then sneakers, then post. We used to buy uh, sneaker posters. That was real big on 125th Street. And they, didn't have, they only had Dr. J's and they had a, a Korean store. It was a no-name Korean store that used to look like a warehouse. And that's when everybody, but sneakers really wasn't big. Everybody was still wearing British walkers and uh, British walkers and um, Playboys. Everybody was wearing British walkers and Playboys. Sneakers wasn't real big back then. It ain't like it is now. And I remember, I remember $20 would buy you a good pair of sneakers, $19.99. That's how much we used to pay for our sneakers. And it, it wasn't all about, I remember, it wasn't all about having a lot of pair of sneakers back then, because guys was still wearing shoes. They was wearing Playboys. Uh, what else they was wearing? Playboys, British Walkers, and like they had, they had shoe stores on 125th Street back then, because people was wearing shoes. But like I said, then the big then, then the big rush came with sneakers, with the Jordans and shit. And I remember the first pair of Jordans was sixty dollars, and that was a lot of money back then, sixty dollars for a pair of Jordans. But sneakers wasn't real big back then. Sneakers, when I was growing up, it was all about shoes. Everybody was wearing shoes. Playboys and the fucking uh, British Walker. And everybody had, and most of the guys had had British walkers in different colors, shit like that. And then now, but now the black men is dressed for recreation. We always dress like we're ready to run, jump, dance, or play at any given time. Everything we wear is geared towards recreate recreation, to play. That's why. That's how sneakers became real big. Cause I remember growing up, we used to iron our blue jeans. We used to iron the shit of our blue jeans, and people used to, and some people used to put their blue jeans in the cleaners and get a permanent crease put in them. You, cause we used to iron, we used to iron the shit out of our jeans. Iron, you could iron your jeans so you could iron your jeans and stand them shits up in the corner. They had so much starch in them back then when I was growing up. But sagging jeans did not start in jail. Sagging jeans started in the street, and we, and then people just stopped ironing their clothes. Just fold them shits up and put them on like they come out the dryer. But back in the day, we used to iron our jeans. We used to iron everything. Everything had a, had a fucking crease in it. Had a crease going down the sleeve. 